Dear Martin, it is with great pride that I learned about your passing the PMA entrance examination. I would be graduating from the academy once your training begins. As your friend, let me tell you what the academy means to me and what kind of future it holds for you. The Cadet Corps is the student body of the Academy. While it is made up of young men and women from different regions all over the country, the Corps evolves into one organization with common goals, shared values, and cherished traditions. New blood nourishes the Corps each year when fresh recruits with their hopes and dreams enter the academy and join summer camp. This is where it all begins for the cadets. It provides the transition from a civilian life to a regimented one. They are taught the three virtues of courage, loyalty, and integrity. They are introduced to an environment that instills respect for military customs and traditions, inspires pride in being part of an institution, and fosters discipline that will carry them through their four-year stay at the academy. The fourth class system is a system which is primarily designed to develop a carefree civilian for him to be able to adjust to the life of a soldier cadet. The fourth class system is the first step in the life of a cadet. And this first step teaches a fourth class cadet to be a good follower to his superiors. So that someday, if he becomes an upper class, he will teach this to his subordinates. He is very much required to adhere to the highest standard of military decorum and performance. He begins his new life as a cadet by performing a variety of duties. Now he, he must be able to understand, to realize that these duties are just the first stepping stones toward a more secure military cadetship. The fourth class system is indeed full of pressures, but these pressures have their own purposes. I cope with these pressures by focusing my mind the goals of being a good cadet. During this two-month period of summer camp, the plebes learn to obey first and question later, or never question at all. Second class men and women act as their squad leaders who help develop and mold them to become worthy cadets. The plebes spend their waking hours going through the rigors of training, a time that may seem too short to enable them to absorb the military way of life. It is not the time factor that matters here in the academy. It's a, a matter of setting your priorities in dealing with the fourth class men. Like for example, um, we have our own duties as second class men. We have our academics, other duties, other marching. You know. And then we have to uh, teach them the proper way of doing things. But in doing so, this simple handshake of recognition makes us very proud of ourselves because it signifies that we were able to meet their standards, internalize regulations, and in general, perform well in all aspects. Recognition Day 
is just one of the honored traditions of the Academy. Through the years, however, this bastion of tradition has been going through its share of changes. One of these happened in 1993, when the Academy opened its doors to women cadets. Being a female in the Academy is not a disadvantage. For as long as you have the right attitude, and for as long as you can cope up with the training here in the Academy, I believe gender is not a problem. The pressure is not to be one of the boys, rather to be among the boys. Don't you want somebody to love? Don't you need somebody to love? The women cadets have proven that they have what it takes to survive here. Attitude, determination, patience, perseverance. These are the qualities a cadet must possess. Qualities that are not at all determined by gender. The opportunity to be a female cadet and the chance to succeed in what is perceived to be a male-dominated world keeps me going amid all difficulties. This will to keep on going must be present in both the men and women cadets so that they can face the challenges of becoming future leaders. Because my friend, life as a member of the Corps is a series of challenges. The cadets must hurdle them all as they pursue the noble profession of arms. At the top of our list of challenges is academics. The PME is, first and foremost, an educational institution. When a cadet is graduated from the academy, he or she earns a degree in computer science, engineering, or management. There is also our military training. The academy implements a tri-service curriculum where cadets choose the branch of service they want to specialize in, whether it is the Army, the Air Force, or the Navy. The Tactics Group is in charge of our military training. It enhances the cadets' leadership, discipline, and skills as they develop into future officers of the country's armed forces. Then we have athletics. We engage in a variety of sports activities. Aside from providing us with a much needed break from the requirements of our academic and military training, it keeps us physically fit and improves our stamina. PMA education encompasses different aspects of learning. It means that you need to be mentally equipped cope with the demands of academic show. Same is true also for being physically fit to handle all these strenuous activities that go with the training. As important as these training, if not more so, is the cadet's character and discipline. When a situation requires a cadet to face adversity in its most dreadful, it may be the only thing a cadet may lean on. The period of four years that the cadet stays here in academy is not enough to make a dream come true, but it is enough to make him realize that his dreams may lead to a more noble experience. That is being an officer. His character development will lead him to see perplexing things and complex endeavors in a different light. The core of the cadet's character is founded on their commitment to uphold the honor code. We, the cadets, 
do not lie, cheat, steal, nor tolerate among us those who do. This is the honor code. It belongs to the graduates of the Philippine Military Academy. But most importantly, it belongs to the Cadet Corps. And it is the Corps and each of its members who are entrusted with its guardianship and the preservation of the ideals it represents. The code is the foundation of all standards and behaviors of the Cadet Corps. It does not encompass all ethical behavior. Rather, it is the standard of behavior of each cadet. Because of the code, the Corps enjoys fear of trust and a reputation of being honorable. The code is also a foundation for the continual development of a cadet's personal standard and values. We have an honor committee that tries violations of the code. It is also the responsibility of every cadet to ensure that the honor code is maintained at all times. We cadets live by the rules. They govern all aspects of our lives at the academy. We cannot escape them. There is a place and time for everything and the appropriate conduct to adopt for each activity. We even have specific types of uniforms to wear for particular activities. Failure to follow these rules has its consequences. Touring is one of them. Where you go around the academy's grounds on weekends instead of enjoying some free time for yourself. But hey, we also have our light moments. Official duties and responsibilities are set aside for some gimmicks and contact with the civilian world. Even our spiritual life is nourished. It's not a bad life at all, my friend, life here at the Academy. We get free education, and quality education at that. We are given the opportunity to develop into well-rounded individuals, steeped in the ideals the Philippine Military Academy represents, with a strong sense of duty and discipline. But we are also constantly aware that it's a different world out there. We must be ready to confront this reality and not be overwhelmed by it. The cadet is also thought to be resilient because however ideal the PMA environment is, the world outside is much more different. The challenge is for the PMA officer to always stand for what is right and just. In the end, our years at the academy boil down to how we are able to transform ourselves into capable leaders, to bring out the best within each one of us for a life of service to God, country, and people. The Academy teaches you something beyond these ideals, and that is being able to live life to the fullest, to capture each moment, and to seize each day. Throughout the years, PMA has given me the confidence to work with utmost respect, hurdle every test, making our lives lived to the fullest. After four years of rigorous training, hard work, and overwhelming pressures, young men and women emerge from the Philippine Military Academy ready and willing to assume their duty in the outside world. We join the long gray line of PMA graduates whose mission in life is to defend the country at all costs. If you feel in your heart of hearts that this calling is for you, 
then welcome to the Academy. May it transform your life the way it did mine. Your friend, Jake.